young one wants to get on the tracks, huh? Sure does. Well, there is a way onto the tracks. You gotta get employed as a historical interpreter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The pose is something I think about day and night. Good? I'm wiping my brow. I don't wanna look like I'm looking off into the horizon. There we go. Spot on. Wow. Six hour shift in my future. <laughs> Might need some Advil around hour five. Oh, that'll do. Hello, everybody. We're in Old Town Sacramento today, doing old timey stuff like they did in the old times. Also today, we're gonna meet up with Barbershop Evan and go fire chasing after the Mosquito Fire, the biggest in California this year. Also, some psycho wants to base jump a 700 foot bridge for us. So come along, let's explore. Nico just uh, informed me one of the hundred-year-old docents feebly called out to get me off the railroad tracks. Nico, what do you think this is right here? Or excuse me, what do you think this is right here? We're with the museum. That is a model of, I guess, the construction wall. Oh, close. It's actually the most typical reaction to my genitals. I'm sorry for you, that's the case. No, no, it's not a scary thing. Oh, it's, it's a, a, oh my God, I've never seen something that large. Well then, congratulations. And I, I guess my penis is mountain climbing. I don't know why the angle is, I mean, it's not tall. It's thick, you know. <laughs> Come here, Nico. Do you know what that instrument is right there? It's a transit. The what's that? Transit. No, that's actually incorrect, sir. That is the only instrument with enough magnification to be able to see this man's genitals. Okay. <laughs> so, so small. I need to find one of these docents. We need one of the old guys now, Nico. And that's... Oh, God, it scared me. That's racially insensitive. Just the person I wanted to see. I hope I've seen. <sighs> Long haul for you? Uh, it's always exciting in the museum. We've been here, I've been here six years. I volunteer, I don't get paid for it. And we had a new exhibit brought in from Carson City. It's, it's a train that's a stamp from the Wait, hold on. Was that an issue on the tracks? Did we hit a cow? No. Are we out of coal? A pol politician, maybe. Ha! <laughs> but, um, st stamp from the Crockers Road to the ceremony and a special car that was built here. And I just had a question. The, um, African-American gentleman who's working in the bathroom, is he being paid a living wage? Or are we a little behind the times here in the 1800s railroad business? I don't know. It's okay. One thing is, I notice you're speaking in the past tense and coming out of character. Perhaps you and I sit down and we go back and forth in character, as if it were Leland Stanford's time. Mr. Stanford was a very wealthy man. Is a very wealthy man. I believe he founded Stanford University, in fact, yeah, after he... striking it rich in the railroad business. America's first big business, was it not? Nico, here we go. We got somebody coming through the car. You and I are going to be in character while these people walk by. The Missouri Compromise. Uh, a compromise, I'm not so sure it is. Sir, this man and I are traveling to San Diego to go into business for a restaurant. All right. Yes, we are. You gotta stay in character now. Come on. We're going to San Diego. Come on. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Please go over there, please. I know you're working for free, and I know this is on a voluntary basis, but your wage should be lessened based on your performance right now. Well, I appreciate you coming. You should owe this museum money. Oh. Good day, my fellows. Are you going to Reno for a divorce as well? Uh, actually, to get married, uh, yes. To get married? Yes, that's She's not a working woman, is she? Um, sometimes, yes. Sometimes. sometimes. I'm not talking about with a sewing machine or in the kitchen. No, 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 no. She's actually a minor. Minor. <laughs> is she under 18 or does she look for gold? She's 42 right now, so I'm not sure. The black lung. It may take her from you early. And then you'll have to go to Reno once again. <laughs> See, that is, that was good. Give me that, that was good. 
Can I have a pin or something? No. I did a good job there. I don't have my pins. You have seven visible right now on your jacket. No, you're not my, my pins on my jacket. I earned them. You a veteran? Vietnam vet. You want to do a Vietnam role play, maybe? No, I don't. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That guy was a lousy improviser, huh, Nico? Yep. My left arm has never hurt so much in my life. I'm sorry, Nico, I gotta readjust. Hey, sir, could you come down off of the car, please? Not now, I'm historically interpreting. No, you need to come down off, it says do not climb, come down. Who goes there? Are you the lead conductor? By the time the ranger gets here, I'm gonna be halfway to Tallahassee. We're picking up steam now. Chook, 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 chook. I want you to come down, now. I want you to start working harder. Stay in character. What is that newfangled device you keep speaking into? Is it a portable telegraph? I'm gonna ask you one more time to come down, that's three times. Who are you, my dear departed mother? What are you holding there? Is that your pocketbook? Yeah, I've got a photograph. A photograph? Now just what the hell is that? You look like a lunatic, talking into your wallet like that, sir. Say, after our shift, you boys want to cook up some beans and play a game of Texas Hold'em? I hear there's a Shakespeare troupe coming in from Elko, Nevada to entertain us. Come on down, police. Oh, that's police. Come on down. The real ranger's in town. Ah. What's going on, man? Why are you climbing on the trains? Listen, sir, the historical interpreters in here are second rate. That's fine. One of the guys, he was talking about watching the new episode of Succession on his iPad. How with one. Who's the guy with the camera to you? Oh, he's with me. We were just doing a tour of the facility. We're museum bus, you could say. One of the guys, again, on the leisure train, was taking calls through a Bluetooth earpiece. It happens. Is that appropriate for a guy pretending it's 1859, though? Daniel, do you take any, like, drugs, either legal or illegal? I do not. Okay. That's a fair question when I've been hanging on a railroad car well, for 15 minutes. Man. You're not elevated, but you're energetic, so sometimes I ask these questions. You, you've got a lot of spunk. It's all in the name of entertainment, officer. All right, guys. Please. I think there's a CC. Here we go, guys. 4613 D. Climbing Railroad Museum. I'm guilty of a 4613 D. What's 4613 E? <laughs> Food and drink, I think. Wow! <laughs> this guy wanted to get a pretzel and mustard outside. Luckily, we didn't violate that one. Nico, you're guilty of a violation, too. So it's it's Jennifer, I say we give him the electric chair. Need, go ahead and grab a seat, because I'm going to need your ID. That's too. right. Well, they popped us, Nico. I have violated some obscure bylaw of the California Railroad Law Book, specifically code 4613D. Like the video if you want Nico and I to show up on our court date completely decked out in old-timey gear, refusing to break character. We're gonna meet up with Barbershop Evan. Hello, everybody. If you'd be so kind, please consider helping myself and Nico out with our legal bills by supporting on Patreon. There's all kinds of extra videos you guys get in exchange, and this will also help fund our big October videos we have lined up. Say it with me, big October videos. <laughs> We're pulling up to Evan's, uh, what is it, taxidermy shop, uh, tattoo parlor? No, barber shop, Evan. Barber shop, Evan. You hopping in? I am hopping in. Do you care for a water or a, a beer or something to set your 
uh, Sunday off right. Well, Nico will take a beer. Wow, you shouldn't have. We, yes. Coronas. We and then, of course, for the for those who want to stay sober. Thank you. Bitch ass. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Did you just say my bitch ass because I'm not drinking and driving? Yeah. What are you promoting here at this barbershop? Oh, live a little, bro. Do you drink and give people a straight razor shave? No, no, I get hammered and give people a straight razor shave. All right. Do it, okay? Why don't you plug your shop on that note? How about... <laughs> it's like, no, 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 we do not promote drinking and driving. Kids stay off drugs. Evan's Barbershop is the place to come. Family friendly. Yeah, if you want your jugular slit, come here. Major fire happening right now in Placer County. It's called the Mosquito Fire. We've been covering this for weeks now. It's destroyed so far almost 80 structures. Fire danger today, very high. Same as Evan. Always. It's uh, the opposite of Nico's self-esteem. Listen, we were going up to Volcanoville, because it's got a cool name. And also, I basically just wanted to talk shit to the locals. Like, yeah, your town's on fire, but you moved to Volcanoville. They're asking for it. You literally have it coming. That would be like moving to sexual assault town and being upset because somebody grabbed your ass. Uh, so we're going to Forest Hill now. The reason being is uh, Volcanoville was actually a separate hour and a half away from Forest Hill. And we had a dude who's going to jump off a bridge at 6 p.m. sharp. Hell yeah. Yeah, we smell fire right now, right, Evan? You can literally smell it in the air. We can smell fire. We see a man over here in overalls and American flag attire. Well, he's selling Mosquito Fire merch. I don't know if that's deeply insensitive or the funniest thing I've seen all year. Let's not waste a tragedy, okay? Capitalize. Yes. Capitalize. Yes. You, dude, imagine what we could have made, Evan, if we were slanging American flags on September 12th, 2001. Hey, what's going on? Not much, sir. Tell us what you got here. What channel is this? This is the Danny Mullen channel. That's me. So, um... Firefighters, mosquito fire. How would you rank the mosquito fire versus um, some of the other wildfires we've seen the last couple of years? Lost four houses, no deaths, nobody hurt. No deaths. Say if um, three or four people perished, would you feel a little bit less enthusiastic about selling the t-shirts? I generally don't go to them if they die. Mm. If they die, they don't. Yeah. But, you know, hey, people want the shirts. Yeah. You know, people come and get the shirts. They say, well, I've been doing it for about 12 years now. Yeah, I remember, Evan, you tried to open up that roadside stand for the campfire yeah. with the foam fingers. It yeah. said campfire number one. Terrible and, idea. And people were like, dude, dude, my grandma's skeleton is still in her car. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, one must make a dollar where you can. Yeah. I mean, what yeah. Point? You know how it is, though, sir. It's just, I mean, he was trying to be a capitalist. and People come up here and work. They don't work for nothing, you know. Yeah. And I do donate money to mm -hmm. the you know? Uh huh. I noticed the yeah, the print seems uh, vaguely reminiscent of the uh, Thrasher magazine font. The what? The Thrasher magazine. You know? It really does. That's amazing. Well, tell me about the Caldor fire first of all. Which one took down more private property? I have no idea. Caldor or Mosquito? Probably Mosquito. Mosquito? Yeah. Probably. What do you think we took down? Maybe uh. Seventy thousand acres. Yeah. Seventy thousand acres. Seventy-six last I heard. Yeah. It's all right. I mean, that's good for 2022, but I've seen better. we've seen better fire seasons than that. Obviously. What we're going to do is we're going to grab, because I'm not sure which one of these took down more houses, we're going to grab one mosquito fire long sleeve and one Caldor fire long sleeve, too. Okay. This guy was actually down there on I-5. He was selling uh, Castaic Reservoir Fire moccasins, and a guy who lost his brother in the blaze pulled his big rig to the side of the road, Paced over to Evan and decked him in the nose. Yeah, it was a rough day, but I was trained by Danny Mullen. I held my own. I think you were profitable that day on oh, the whole. Great day. Great, great day. A little bloody nose never stopped me from making a dollar. Hey, what? Behave yourself. We will, sir. Be safe. We will. You know, Destiny's Child said, don't go chasing waterfalls. They didn't say nothing about chasing wildfires. Agreed. That's TLC. Did I say Destiny's Child? Yes. Really, what's the difference? What gives? We heard there were going to be 50-foot flames. There was at one time. What are we here, two weeks too late? Uh, yeah. Damn. Fire came right up to there. Can you believe it? Wow. Can I help you guys? Yeah, how's it going, man? Good. We're fire tourists. Yeah? We came out here from San Francisco. We heard this thing was going to be burning good. So it's not actively burning right now? No, it's 
it's just in an area that's super rocky and there's a lot of cliffs that we can't get it personnel in. Uh, you got to access that thing by air? We've tried. You've tried? Yep. You personally? Not me personally. Mm. I'm a public information officer. Mm, that's good. Yep. That's, um, do you carry a weapon? I don't. Mm. Selfie? Yeah, let's take it. All right. All right. Is it all right if we go down there with the, uh, the fire and take some photos? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go down real quick. We'll be right back up, Corey. Appreciate you, man. What's that? There could be still some hot logs burning down there. I did a fire walk at a Tony Robbins seminar once. I got this. I can do it barefoot. Fire! 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 I we showed up too late to the party. It feels depressing, actually. There's a burned shopping cart here. I think a hobo might have perished. No, no, we're not being disrespectful. We're just, we're fire tourists. Actually, more generally, we're natural disaster tourists. Well, you are, just so you know, you are totally being disrespectful and saying that you're not doesn't make it not, it's not appreciated, just so you know. It was a selfie, and we're gonna put a caption that's gonna be like. Come on, I'm just telling you it is disrespectful. If you wanna be disrespectful, just realize that is what you're doing. But the caption's gonna be like, thoughts and prayers go out to the people of, uh, are we in Placerville? I feel like that guy over there sold us the merch and that kind of put us into this mindset. Yeah, I think, I think you got enough attention. Attention? We haven't even posted this or anything yet. Hey, Corey, right? We got some firefighter costumes off Amazon and we were gonna go pose in front of somebody's burned out house. Where are we able to find, we heard Soap Street would be good for that. No, they're currently blocked off the block right now. We spent like $600 on these costumes. Right, Evan? Yes. I'm sure the people that lost their house will really appreciate that. The so, firefighters who, yeah. you know, but, but the caption's gonna be like, you, me and Evan fought valiantly to make sure this, this thing didn't burn. Oh wait, but they're gonna be, they are gonna be burned. So it's, it'll be like, a, it'll be like an, a rest in peace to Thomas Aguilera, who's a, a firefighter that Deep, we just made up. Meaningful, heartfelt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. go check out, there's a fire map over there. Thanks, Corey, it was good talking to you, buddy. The only reason I feel like this is okay right now is because nobody died. Yeah. We're over here, this all got burned. Let's go over here. Hey, Corey. Yes, sir. How can I help you? Do you mind taking a picture of me dumping out this two gallon of water so it looks like I'm creating a retaining wall? Unfortunately, I can't do that. I'm currently helping some people here. I think this will help the community if we do it. Yeah, sorry. As long as you don't drop the cigarette. Oh no, I'm sure I had it. I've been smoking for 18 years. You think it's funny or what? You think it's funny? Who are you? You know what? You really do need to leave. This leave is here. so okay. disgusting. Well, I don't see anybody else helping. You are. I just so created disgusting. a wall. Right? People have had to leave their homes, they lost their homes. You need to go. You need to have some respect in the But if the embers center. kick up Take again, they come this way. Can you please okay. go? Okay. Oh, I got a three pack and I have it, man. The, I light up the next one with the ember of this one. That's just how I smoke, buddy. You need to go. Well, just do me a favor. You dump out the rest of this in the bushes for me. Please go. Kimberly, will you take care of this for me? This is out of serious concern for the community. If I'm not allowed to help, somebody should. See, so who's disrupting the community life now? Why don't you just stop. Well, he's the one making it so I people can't shop. Stop. I need you to stop. Get your priorities straight, Kimberly. I, I appreciate have. your service, but on that one, you were off the mark. Chariot driver, take me to my next small fire ridden town. I can't even keep track of the things you can't make fun of in this country anymore. I mean, it seemed like we could never Never, if we wanted to live our lives as usual, make a transgender joke. But now, if you crack a funny about fire... What was the death count? Zero. Zero. Yeah. We're laying low in Forest Hill, trying to get some drone footage. We uh, haven't done a great job of keeping a low profile, have we, Evan? Not at all. Geo just messaged me. I guess he's not doing a great job keeping a low profile either. Is it a rangers or on him down at the Forest Hill Bridge? I'm trying to stay in contact with them, figure out what our backup plan is as far as an extreme stunt. We're gonna see. Keep you posted here. Yeah. 
So yeah, this dude Geo just told me that he thinks there are sheriffs lurking around and he doesn't want to jump. I don't know if that's true or I don't know if he's hung over and he just wanted an out. I know I am. You can't call this guy a pussy after seeing his Instagram. So I know it wasn't cowardice. Yeah. He didn't get cold feet here, but he's not jumping. I don't know. The video doesn't feel complete. I'm not sure where we go from here, to be honest. I mean, you could go over. I'll respect you more. I free haircut? Free haircut. Free haircut for you and Nico. Free haircuts for life, in fact, Danny. Wow. For life, because of life, very short. We'll see. It's a literal cliffhanger here. It's not really a cliff, actually. It's, it's a bridge hanger. We're going to check in in the future if we've got some sort of resolution to this video. It's um, 7 a.m. in Folsom, California. Geo over here was kind enough to meet us because he knew the video wasn't complete until he went big. What's the go it's big good. handshake? I don't know, man. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> That's the go big handshake. He's got some buddies over here. These kids pulled up. I thought they were Folsom High kids trying to get stoned before English class, but apparently they all know each other. Gio, I wouldn't even know how to describe the stuff you do. When I jumped, pencil die was my primary move. You seem to be doing a lot of flipping, a lot of spinning from some really, really high stuff. You've done the top. I've seen you do the top, and you did some fucking wild shit off it. Yeah, I hit a triple off A triple what? Back, 180, front flip. You said front twice and back once. I'm not sure which way you were going. <laughs> so it was back first, switch directions, then dub front half. Are you allowed to do that? Like this. Do the laws of physics say that's okay? You can switch directions in midair? Okay, so. It says no jump, I think we gotta go back. Aw, oh, dang it. Nico, I'm sorry. Well, it says no jumping, Nico. It's the law. He gets it now. Gio, I can't believe you do that 150. Or that, what is that, 100 feet? 110? 110 up there, yeah. Who measures these things? So dude, we got a tape measure, each climb up there and fucking drop it down. It's 110 feet long? Yeah. It's like 300 feet, but the bridge is... I might have to borrow that so I can get an accurate reading on my phallus. <laughs> can't get one long enough. Yeah, dude. I need a cliff jumping tape measure. <laughs> Looking sexy over there. Look at that body. You do well in Los Angeles just being some rich gay dude's boy toy. <laughs> Gio, if you do the 110 today, I'll do the 50 and go ah! the whole way down. Yeah, I might have to. It's early, man. <laughs> it's all right, Gio. Nice and easy now. You haven't stretched out yet, so. This is the warm up right here. I'm gonna love, I don't want you to do anything crazier than like a cannonball right now, cannonball. man. Yeah, just, <laughs> actually a cannonball is probably the thing that'd break your spine. Oh, oh Gio's ascending. You know, that's not meant for climbing. That can't be easy on your hands. It's not this shit fucking Is he pretty comfortable climbing stuff that's not supposed to be climbed? So what I just said was when I think of Geo, this is literally what I think of right here. People can jump, but people can't climb. Alright, three, two, one, send it! Hey. How's the water? Yo, it's actually kind of warm, dude. Yeah! Aiden, right? Yeah. Okay. You can do it from this, uh, the metal bar? I'm gonna do it from here, yeah. What's the thinking behind that? It'll just be more fun. There's a little bit of gap, there's a little bit of adrenaline in it. Ooh! And hopefully I'll smack my head off of that, not get knocked out, come back up in about 30 seconds. I'll see if I get around to rescuing you. Yep. <laughs> I still got to stretch out and do my breathing exercises, so. Oh. Just gonna go just like that. Dang. Yesterday, in this video, we were doing some westerny stuff. I feel like hanging over the side of a cliff and screaming and crying is very western. I'm gonna be the damsel in distress here. Start. Yeah. Dude, I got some not diving board. <laughs> <laughs> be safe. This solid, Gio? 
Yeah, dude, you're chilling. You tested the engineering on this thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Pizza cold brew coffee, huh? That's how I get fresh for my day. Oh, Jesus. Ah! 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 <laughs> All the best base jumpers and cliff jumpers in the world make that noise before it's done. Ah! <laughs> got it. Gio! Nico! All you guys! Give your love to my baby! Gio! The only way my spirit can go peacefully into heaven is if you do the 110 for our YouTube video. <laughs> or Aiden. Failing that. Oh, this is, I don't even want to go down now. This is far. <laughs> Should we give him a five? Ah. Five. Four. Three. Ah! Two. One. Send ah! it. <laughs> Dude, that's deceivingly high. There's more hang time than I thought there was going to be there. Anybody want to wrap it up with a grand finale? Aiden, are you feeling it right now? This could be big for you. Yeah, Danny, you throw my Instagram up there? Of course, I'll dude. Of right. course. Dude! Yeah. Wait, he's doing the 110? Wait, we gotta get the drone back up. Wait, give me, give me a hug, dude. Give me a hug. You're a fresh-faced young boy. You got, a, you got a bright future in gay porn. I don't want you to lose it by dying on this. <laughs> 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 Seriously. Hey, dude! Screw you! Not you guys, that guy. He's, he's, he's buddy hopping. <laughs> that guy thinks he's so extreme. I don't blame you, bro. That's more than double what I did. <laughs> he's earned this. It's a well earned shout out. Dude, gnarly! You got this, brother. Don't even think about this stuff. Don't even think about the anything negative. Well, I'll think about the gay thing. It's hard to think about anything else. Looking up your shorts as I am. Three, two, one, send it! Woo! Oh my god, dude. Legend! <laughs> Oh my god, was that a double? Yeah. Oh, dude, I lost track! Woo! Oh my god. That was insane, huh, dude? Uh, <laughs> Do that again for me. Oh, okay. That was sick, bro. Oh, yeah. I don't know whether to give you a hug or to stand back here and jerk off. <laughs> Geo, oh, yeah. this kid stepped up, huh? This is not good. I, mean, I feel like he's your understudy. And, I know. Uh, I've like, been studying Gio for a long time now. Well, you proved yourself. Like you, Gio, you're you got to respect him now, huh? Like it used to be all about getting these kids swirly and calling them. <laughs> but now, after a double he's back from himself. 110, dude, I just I can't get my head around it. How you guys like a double back is the standard maneuver when you're at a new altitude. Straight jump, you just all all, all you have to think about is like staring at the ground. Double backflip just gives you something to do. <laughs> just gives you something. It's the, it's the <laughs> stupidest it's, it's, logic. That is the stupidest shit. It's hard to explain, Danny, but like. Well, we ended the video on a stunt as we planned to do all along. I'm grateful to Gio and Aiden. What were your guys' names again? Colby. Colby and Cade? Yeah. It's like cool YouTube kid names. No, no, it's Cade the States. Hey, I'm Colby. I'm Cade. I'm Aiden. I'm Gio. <laughs>